All right, people, it is uh, it is the 8th of November when we're recording this, and Trump has essentially lost the election. I mean, he's probably going to fight it. There's going to be all sorts of weird court battles and everything going on. But yeah, yeah, before yeah. we got to the point, gonna go of course, this had to happen on the 7th when we were when we started recording that the Biden campaign finally said, yes, we're going to win this whole thing. I mean, there's other news organizations that said that as well. Uh, but like, the fact is, like, them. Every, we don't have enough time between setting up to record and getting this recorded on a Saturday night for any for us to catch anybody else's bullshit. Because, again, it happened on the weekend. So Right Wing Watch is not ready to put out stuff this week about uh, uh, this weekend about stuff that has happened on Saturday. So. Uh, you're catching a little bit of stuff from people that were earlier in the week saying that if Trump loses, it's going to be blah, blah, blah. And so we also have that right now with George Pearson's says that God is not happy, in quotes there, with what is happening to Trump in the election. So he, he knows firsthand that God is not very happy with this. Whole thing. Here we go. Oh, that's too bad. I'm not happy. I okay. He's not happy. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Fucking keep that mm -hmm. in mind. I'm just going to say right now, keep that in mind. I'm not happy with what you're doing to my nation. Oh, it's and good. I'm not happy about what you're doing to my man. Now, he's speaking about Mr. Trump right there. He has yielded to me. He's endeavored to follow my word. And I am not happy with this that is going on right now. And then and. But it, isn't it his plan that he set into motion, though? Uh, so, so, so I want to yeah. make sure I want to make sure I understand something. So according to this pulpit pimp, uh, the big G, God, so. yeah, the, the, this pulpit pimp is saying that the uh, big G says it's OK to discriminate against people who are coming here who are persecuted. And it's OK to uh, take the ba take the children away from the parents and lock them up. Yeah. But that doesn't jibe with um, their obsession of being called a the fetus, does it? I mean, there's something there that's inconsistent. Well, there's that whole thing about loving thy neighbor and, you know, strangers in a new land kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And there's all sorts of passages that talk to, you know, Jesus really liked immigrants, but we're not going to get to those. No, no, that's not going to happen no. at all. So um, mm -hmm. I'm going to let this turd speak some more. Then this is the second time I've ever sensed this, but I've sensed the Lord doing this. And he says, watch me work. Yes. Praise. Watch yeah, me worked. work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sure worked. God, the creator of all that is and was and ever will be, mm -hmm. that put everything in this universe into motion, knowing what the final outcome was going to be, because he is timeless, right. spaceless, and all that other bullshit had to intervene in this election in 2020. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he's he's the one who booked the space at the landscape company. Right yeah. next to the dildo factory. No, yeah. I'm sorry. Right. Sorry, between the, the dildo, dildo reseller. Factory, right, so. right next between to the, the dildo store. Between the sex shop. Uh, which was also, also on, the, on the other side of the landscape company was a crematorium, yeah. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so. If this is your god, he's fucking stupid, man. If he's unhappy with what's happening with Trump, he's the one that set that into motion. I'm I'm going with the God that is all knowing, all powerful, and all seeing kind of thing, and all loving. If mm -hmm. that, that's something that could potentially exist, no, it's not. No, 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 no. We got we got we got goofus Rick to God here. Yeah, it's like a that's, goofus. I like goofus, goofus God Rick though. and a gallant God. Oh, uh, doofus and Rick. Like, you have goofus God liking Trump and gallant God liking. Oh, wait, 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 I thought God didn't like Biden. Ooh. So they've I never like explained, that. does does Doofus Rick actually eat shit? I mean. Well, yeah. They just showed him eating brownies. I didn't know if that was actually poop, though. No, uh, it was, they were shit brownies. It's <laughs> <laughs> some good shit, man. He, he, he tricked Jerry into baking poop brownies. God damn it. Yeah. We need more Rick and Morty. <laughs> There's been, it's been far too long. So this is a word from the Lord, and he's not happy with what's going on. He's not happy with some of these things.
things that have been decided and he's not happy with the the opposite direction that he wants to go. So Pastor George Pearsons is the CEO of uh, Kenneth Copeland Ministries. So if you're wondering what, oh. what group he's in. <laughs> ah, Kenneth the billionaire. Kenneth, right. leave my fucking hair alone, Utah outcast. How dare you talk about my boyish 20-year-old oh, hair. Oh, I'm going to cut the holy breath and blow that COVID away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want a Kevin Cope blowjob. Yes, sir. Amen. But I, I just don't get how he could say God's not happy with the way that his servant's being treated. Then do something about it, you fucking non-powerful prick. Why don't you come down here and show us how big your dick is there, God? How about you show us how fucking tough you are? How about you strike me down? right fucking now for talking bad about you i'm still here i'm waiting for you are you gonna strike me dead for- no no no, no. no it's, oh, it's, i'm not it's even gonna, getting it's it. gonna take another 20 years and then he's he's gonna get you with cancer that's gonna take another like 10 years to kill you oh but 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 wait a second jc and the sunshine i'm gonna be so band mad if i die in 30 years week. from cancer kyle i'm gonna be so mad <laughs> look if you do I called it. It's not going to be butt cancer. I know that one because <laughs> I get that checked regularly. So, oh yeah, I, I got to do that. Oh, I got to <laughs> do that. That's on the schedule, man. I oh. just wish they'd give you a drug that would let you enjoy being high a little bit longer instead of just making you go to sleep. That's all I wish. <laughs> where abortion is concerned, where the Supreme Court is concerned, where religious liberty is. Motherfucker, you got three seats on the Supreme Court yeah. for underneath Trump. That's yeah. one. That's 33% of the fucking seated judges right now for the Supreme Court. We're decided yeah. by the Trump administration within four yeah. years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And no, all those that's... cases that were decided by five to four votes for conservatives are godly people. And he's still not satisfied. The pimp is still not satisfied. I mean, I, hate these guys. I just look. You'd think God could pick somebody a little more competent. Just same. maybe you would, you would you know. think that he would pick somebody that's charismatic, that people actually care about, and can speak in complete sentences, or at least at the very at the very fucking least, read off the teleprompter. Mm-hmm. Right. Is concerned where Israel is concerned, and he's saying, "Watch me work." Yeah, same. Man. Lord, we're gonna mm-hmm. see you yes, work in this. We are. We're gonna see you work in the midst work. of this. Thank you. We will and we invoke the name of Jesus yeah. and take authority over the powers and the principalities and the spirit of communism that is trying to infiltrate, overtake, and attack this nation yeah. right now. Don't threaten me with a good time there, buddy. You know? Yeah. You you do realize that the nation of Israel, which isn't a nation, um, didn't exist when the Bible was written. And there, uh, there are no uh-huh. references uh-huh. to it. Yeah. And not only that, Israel is a socialist nation. I mean, they take no. care of the, I mean, they don't take care of the Palestinians because it's fucking apartheid levels. Of shit no, 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 no. And no, you could no. be anti-Zionist without being anti-Semitic. I'm case. Yeah. I'm fucking case in point here. Um, yeah. You know, I very much love my Jewish people, but mm-hmm. I fucking hate what they do in Israel. So. And you know what else they do in Israel? Abortion. Yeah. Well, I mean, Joe, they're just using you people. <laughs> to to get to their end times. That's all they're using Israel for. Oh, yeah. They they want us to, they want us they want to send us all back. They want you yeah, all to be in the same concentration mm-hmm. level of wherever. It, I'm sorry. Yep. Concentrated area yeah. of a country. Right. It's no, not concentration. God damn it. A, a concentrated um an encampment of people a, that are concentrated. Yeah, and then a concentrated encampment God damn of, it. of people's <laughs> That's new lows, right. the, new the same, lows the on the Utah. You gotta remember, the same according general to ethnicity, mm-hmm. uh, 
according to John Hagee, all the Jews have to go back to Israel before the big boom boom comes. And when the big boom boom comes, according to John Hagee, you know, he said 144,000 male Jewish virgins are the only ones that are going to survive. All the rest of the Jews get to go to the barbecue. <laughs> well, good luck finding. And then those one hundred finding that many male virgins. Yeah, those and those hundred forty-four thousand male virgins. Why they're going to convert to Christianity? That's some Jews for Jesus shit right there. That's. I mean, it's real easy <laughs> when you're talking about. Look, the only, the only, the only virgins you're going to find are under the age of fifteen. Well, I, I, that rules I don't me know, out. man. I was a virgin until uh, I was <laughs> like 19 or 20. Out. <laughs> oh, that rules me out. <laughs> I've got the mark of the devil on me. Well, and I just laugh that the guy got super squinty and he's like talking about how God's going to do all this stuff. He's like, why the fuck do people close their eyes when they pray to begin with? Like, I absolutely love when people are saying grace being the guy that's looking around the table to find the other atheists. I'm like... Looking around, I'm like, oh, yeah, a cousin, I see you. Yeah, I see you looking around. Mm -hmm. I know. I mean, it's really the most fun you can have at a family gathering <laughs> because everybody's got their eyes closed and they can't see you going. Except when your mom is looking at you and you get popped. Let's bow our heads and pretend to be serious. Meanwhile, everybody that's non-religious is like doing the whole head nod like, hey, <laughs> to the people that aren't. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I fucking love that little bit of... I love that part of Thanksgiving, but I'm sad that I get to miss out on it this year because everybody's going to be like... I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I hate every part of it. I, I mean, hate. except the food part, but I can do the food part with a family part. No, I like eating the food. I'm fucking tired of cooking it. Nobody told me when yeah, you get to be I an adult... I don't mind cooking. I don't mind cooking. I will cook it all myself anyway. We just made... I shouldn't pretend like it's... Just me. I shouldn't pretend like it's hard. You just throw... There are many ways that you can cook a turkey. I prefer crockpotting mine. I'm sorry, may seem weird, but I like moist meat. You know, no, it depends. It depends on how you do. It. Yeah, there, but the there, thing there, is, like, I I cook it until it's completed, and then I transfer it to a baking baking um tray, and then I make sure I put the broiler on, so it gets a nice crispy skin. So it's, it's really good. yeah. Mom would slow cook her. Yeah, pretty she much. Would put it. Yeah. She would put it in yeah. the oven around I mean, nine o'clock. The night before, and just I think she said it like about three, two seventy five or three hundred, and she just let it bake all night. You said the base that motherfucker though, otherwise it would dry out. Mom would mom would massage it with butter. Yeah, you you put uh, you 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 slip the butter in between the 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 meat and the skin. Yeah, I do. I inject but, the butter. But, I melt butter and I inject well, it you, into the turkey. Yeah, what you re what you gotta do is spatchcock the thing. Because for one, people wondering what that term means, that means you know cutting through the breastbone and yep. you know spreading it open. So yeah, you gotta you, one. It's really fun to say spatchcock. Yeah, yeah. Now you can be, you can be one of those word. you can be one of those cleft asshole people that's like I know a new word now. I'm gonna say I'm gonna sound intelligent. You should go to <laughs> go to go to Thanksgiving dinner. Look at the turkey and go, you should spatchcock that thing. <laughs> I remember because one... that's really fun to do in a in a family gathering. But I know uh, I I remember when butterballs started. And then mom <laughs> mom just said, I can just set it and forget it. And then there was always a fight over what kind of stuffing had to be in the turkey. I don't do nobody... the stuffing in the turkey. Then. It, mom had to be like a surgeon. Half of it had to be kosher and half of it non-kosher. Uh, the non-kosher was straight oyster. to hell if you picked the wrong side there, though, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> what if you happen uh, to get a little bit of a scoop of middle? <laughs> sometimes I was a naughty boy and I just couldn't resist the oysters. <laughs> I may be in the, the the I may be alone here, and people feel free in comments or where, wherever you might be listening to this at. I fucking hate oysters, guys. I can't stand them. The only I'm, way I'm the only way fan. I have ever liked an oyster is smoked oysters in a can. The ones I love, oysters Rockefeller, done right. I'm well, a better really rock clicks. salt with a pernod, and they throw the cheese and the spinach on it. 
when we get past when we get past covid maybe we'll maybe i'll visit anaheim and come out to visit you out there in la and you'll have to show me a good place to 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 find a find a good way to eat an oyster because i ugh. <laughs>